Hey, what's going on? So today I got a quick video for you on how I vector my lettering uh, in a type design software called Glyphs. I've been streaming for a couple months and when I do vector lettering, a lot of people ask me uh, what software I'm using and um, I'm going to show you what software I'm using and a few little tips and tricks on how to get started. So let's jump right into it. All right. So um, I've got a rough sketch here of a little piece I quickly made. Nice. Very nice. Um, so let's, what we're going to do first is um, grab open glyphs here, go to file, new. And uh, when you first open up glyphs, you get a crap ton of letters. And, you know, we're not really, uh, we're not building a font, so uh, we don't need all of those letters. So what I like to do is big shift select uh, and then command delete. Oh no, I missed them. There we go. So we remove those. Uh, you could just do it with all of them. So we got kind of a blank canvas here, right? And then I go to file, down to font info. Um, and then I'll, I, I have one uh, that I use that I call lettering uh, master. It's just the master file for um, all of my lettering pieces that I make in glyphs. Uh, so let's just call this one lettering master 02. Um, and you don't need to really worry about any of this other stuff. Um, we will we'll hop back into the uh, info in a bit, but let's go ahead and save our file. Just save it in our downloads folder. My downloads folder is a freaking mess, man. <laughs> I don't know. That's uh, how most people use their desktop is their uh, main, like, you know, trash files or where they put all their crap. I, I put all my crap in my downloads folder. It, it's uh, I don't have to look at it at least. So um, we've got a big blank canvas here. You don't really need to worry about uh, most of these things. If you're only doing lettering, um, a lot of this stuff is obviously based on, uh, font making. Let's start by making, um, a glyph. So, or, or more of an artboard. So if you go to glyph, uh, and this is shift command G add glyph, and then we can name, name it something like, we'll just name it nice, nice. Oh, one because that's the uh, lettering that we're doing. So then we get a little descriptor of other, uh, and then I'll just double click into this. It opens a new tab. And you see we have, right now we have a cap height, uh, an ascender height, an X height, a baseline, and a descender line. Um, if you're not familiar with those, that's okay. We are gonna go back into info um, and then you have these tabs up at the top, go to master. Um, don't worry about the weight. We're just going to set the, I, I like to set it, uh, at about 2000. Um, so we set the ascender and the cap height to 2000, and then we set the X height and the descender to zero. So that just gives us, um, a sort of blank canvas. And you'll see once we, uh, hit command S exit out of it and then now you kind of have this big blank area and um, to make the can to make it wider just go down here to this little bit and then select the uh, this this number is the advanced width so this is the um, in type design the advanced width is uh, the width of the entire glyph so if there was a capital A here um, it wouldn't just be the width of the letter form, it would be the width of the letter form plus the left and right side bearing. So however wide the letter is spaced. Not that you need to really know that, but um, I, uh, let's just say, let's just give this 2000. So we got a nice little square here and I like to work on squares. So let's open Finder and let's make sure this is our sketch. Yep. just drag our sketch in here and we've got oh and you have to hold shift unlike in Adobe Photoshop how stupid 
Why did you do that, Adobe? Why? Tell me why. <sighs> Every time I go in Photoshop, I hit shift and I get so angry. All right, so um, we've got our sketch in here and uh, I like to just have a little bit. I like it to be as pretty much large as possible. So um, if we come in here and we let's make that 4,000, perfect. And then you can right click and then lock the image. So it just gives you a little grayed out version of it. And if you hit space um, and you don't have anything on the artboard, artboard, um, it'll just show you the, the sketch in, uh, in its full glory. Why don't we just start adding some points and then we can talk about some of the um, some of the benefits that you get here in Clefs. Let me let, let's just go ahead and vector R in here. vector are in and uh, this one is maybe a slightly more complicated because of the uh, the way the brush strokes are but uh, the the idea is still here and it, it doesn't really matter for the sake of uh, this video so let's uh, smooth out our handles a little bit here give it a little bit of love oh, text message um, yeah so, um, and you may have noticed how I am drawing these. Uh, let's move our sketch so we can see what we got going on here. But you may have noticed how I'm, I'm drawing these uh, overlaps or these corners with overlapping paths. And the reason for that is I can come in here and uh, manipulate this cur this line independent from this line so if this was uh say say we had a point right here and i wanted to change the the curve of of this line i couldn't really do that um or i couldn't move this line in any significant way um independently from this line right uh so that is uh a very great um, technique for vectoring uh, lettering and even even with illustration I think even if you're not working with letters um, doing overlaps like that really helps you uh, get a little bit more control over each um, curve that you're drawing but so let's say um, we draw we draw that without a uh, without an overlapping point here so let's delete that and say this, you know, we, we drew our whole piece and um, we've got this, this point that isn't, um, isn't overlapped. And you might be like, okay, well, I could just, you know, come in here. If you grab the pen tool, we can come hover over. Just like an illustrator, you can hover over a line and uh, the plus tool will activate uh, or the plus on the pen tool will activate and then you can hit plus. Um, and then drag this down, create an overlap. But a quicker and more efficient way is if we select the point, we left click, and then um, we come down here to uh, open corner. Created a, um, created an overlap for us. We didn't have to do anything. So now we can come in here and um, manipulate these curves independently in order if you know if I draw something wrong or um, accidentally merge all the um, all the points or if I have um, a piece of lettering in illustrator that is maybe uh, maybe I've live traced a piece of lettering um, and I've cleaned it up a little bit in illustrator and I want to um, I want to bring it over and do like some serious uh, vector work without having to retrace the whole thing. I can pop it into um, glyphs 
and I can open the corners and um, pretty much create uh, a nice piece of lettering um, that I live traced that is nice and clean vector wise. So something else that's really nice about glyphs is you can come in here. So you, if you see this point, it's red, right? And it's a circle. Um, and then we've got these points down here that are blue squares. Uh, we can, um, right now, if we're, if we edit this curve, um, the Bezier handles stay stuck. They're, they're right next to each other and they move, um, they move with each other. But if we came in and selected this point and we hit enter, turns to a blue square and now it's a corner point so we can edit those handles independently but when um, let's say you're drawing a piece that you know maybe you have a curve like this and you want this curve to just go straight into um, a line and not uh, so now um, we can't move this point left to right. It can only go up and down. But if we come in here and hit enter, then it can be independ independently um, moved and not in line with this uh, straight line here. So this is something that Illustrator, you can't really do in Illustrator. Uh, if, if, you have a, if you have a path like this, um, you will always be able to come in and grab that point and move it back and forth in any direction. You 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 know you have to go and hold shift in order for it to do that. So um, that's a nice little feature. Let's finish vectoring this piece first. So, um, one quick thing, uh, you see how we've got this path that is sort of um, subtracting itself. If you come up here, you go to glyphs, or no, sorry, uh, path, correct path direction, with it, which is uh, shift command R, that will fix it. That happens a lot, so don't worry about it. Um, let's keep going. Done with our vectoring for the most part we've placed all our points we've got all our curves pretty roughed out um, like most of this looks looks fine for at least for our purposes um, but let's say uh, we want to do some some super drastic editing let's make a let's make a copy of this uh, we go here copy and paste yo what oh Whoops, I put it on the wrong layer. So if you are on the wrong layer, and let's say you want to make this bottom layer your your master layer, you can just come in here and do uh, use this master, and it switches that to the top. And let's go back over to font and rename this nice dash O2. I also do it this way sometimes instead of uh, instead of layers. So let's say you want to come in here and do some more drastic editing to um, your curves. And, uh, you know, normally what you would do is uh, come in here and move your curve and then adjust your handles accordingly. All right. So you'd have to you'd have to do a few steps to get something to look really good. So let's say we wanted, uh, let's see here. 
what should we do? Let's say we wanted uh, this um, piece of the E to be uh, a lot more heavy. So we want it to come swing all the way out here. Uh, and you know, like I said, normally we'd come and like maybe pull it out to there. Um, and then we come in here and adjust these handles. And then, yeah, okay, that looks, that looks all right. Um, but a really, really, really powerful tool with glyphs. And, and one of the main reasons that I use glyphs for lettering is if we come in here and um, we grab this point and we hold down Control and Alt, and we move this point all the way over, do you see all of those other handles moving along? So these two handles, watch these two handles when we, when we grab this and move. Those things, all of those handles scale with uh, anything that, any handle that is attached to this point will scale along with it. Um, so if we had a piece here, you'd, act, you'd actually have to select that point in order for it to work, but, um, oh, I guess it doesn't work like that. Well, that's okay. You never really have a point there anyway. Um, <laughs> But uh, this is uh, one of the best things that I think, it, like th that, that is, is one of the best reasons to use glyphs for lettering, in my opinion. Because um, you know, when you're, especially when you're doing um, a lot of words and you're vectoring a lot of things, um, you know, sometimes you have to do some really quick adjustments on the fly, and you don't want to sit there and you know, go and, and edit every handle and all that jazz. Um, and another cool uh, bit about that, which is pretty much along the same lines, is um, I can come in here and grab this point and let's say I want to um, adjust the, the curve along the handles here. If you come in here, uh, grab your point and also hold down Alt Option. Um, you can move it along this without uh, affecting the handles here, which is really cool because um, sometimes maybe your uh, point is a little bit too high uh, on the on the uh, curve, and you just need to adjust the tension a little bit. And you just hit the old Alt button drag it down and uh, now we've got a nice smooth curve in there so those are two huge reasons that uh, I, I like to use glyphs for lettering so I know that was uh, maybe a little bit scattered but I hope you enjoyed it uh, I hope that was a little bit helpful in uh, getting you started uh, doing some vector work in glyphs um, if you're just starting out with type design or lettering or um, drawing logo types, uh, I would really encourage you just hop into glyphs, give it a go. Um, it's really fun. Uh, there's a lot of really great things that you can do with it. Uh, if, if you guys are interested, I can go over some more, uh, maybe advanced type, uh, stuff. I'm not like, I'm not the, the most advanced person on the planet when it comes to the software stuff, but, um, I can at least, uh, get you, get you going. Um, show you kind of the ropes with uh, vectoring and uh, building a basic font. Um, so if you are interested in that, let me know. So I hope that was helpful. I hope you have a great day. Peace.